Well, we can go ahead and get started. Still looking at what's happening in the, at, to big animals in the Serengeti. Uh, today, we're not only going to be looking at buffalo, we're going to be throwing in some wildebeest in there as well. That was joking now. So, this should all be reviewed. So, for number one, what do y'all get for the carrying capacity? A and one hand. One second, guys. Well, we got two hands. We get four hands. Three. Give me one more. Fourth person raising their hand. Four. Isaac, what'd you get for the care capacity? 80. Uh, everyone else raise your hand. Did you get 80? Or around 80. Aaron, what'd you get? Around 80. Around 80. Alright. Uh, Markeisha, how'd you find that it was around 80? Uh, the line. Yeah. I said the line that goes straight? Yeah. Yeah, great. So we can see here uh, the deer population on Walla Walla. It got a little bit high, it crashed down, and it stabilized around 80. So we would call 80 the maximum population, the carrying capacity. Okay. Number two, biodiversity. Can somebody define biodiversity for me? You see Amy. Trivion, what do you got for biodiversity? Different life, great. That's the simplest, my favorite definition. Different life, biodiversity. Bio life, diversity, different. It's, I like how simple that one is. Does anyone else have a different definition for biodiversity? Isaac, what were you saying? Yeah, different organisms in the same habitat. So uh, plants, animals, fungi, whatever it is. Uh, all the different types of life within a habitat. Now for number three, what do we still need to look at with the uh, buffalo population? All right, let's start off. Uh, what do we find? What do we determine was the cause of the changing buffalo population? I got one hand. Let me hear some person from some different people. What do we determine was the cause of the buffalo population? source? All right, we've looked at the food source. Uh, what was going on with food source? Was food source increasing, decreasing, staying the same? You say increasing. Where did you get uh, it was increasing? Do you remember uh, looking at the Climate graphs, the rainfall and the temperature. Uh, were those was the were those increasing? Were those steady? What was going on? Yeah, the climate was very steady. So uh, we determined that it wasn't the climate leading to more food for your, or more food production leading to more buffalo. So we said that the food was not what caused it. What else did we look at? There's two other things. Uh, yeah, the predators of the buffalo. Uh, what did we see about the buffalo predators? What was going on with their population? They were staying about the same. Let me see if you have proof of it. So yes, the predator population was staying about the same. I believe it increased initially, and then it was pretty steady. Uh, so we said that it wasn't predators either. So we're down to the last one. What did we say was the cause of the population change? Let me see some hands. No, it wasn't food or reproduction. Here you go. Sorry? Rinder pest. Wow, even naming it. Yeah. Rinder pest, the disease. Uh, the disease that affects only animals with hooves. That was, that was bringing the population down. Once we got rid of it, population shot right back up. 
so what should we look at today? Our unit question is, what has been happening to the big animals in the Serengeti? And so far, we've looked at the buffalo. So what should we do today to, find our, to answer our unit question? Answer that question. What's been happening to the big animals in the Serengeti for the past 40 years? Oh, they've been captured. Sorry? They've been captured. You're saying that the animals have been captured? Based on the data that we've seen, uh, the buffalo population increasing, what, what has been happening to the animals? We just said it. What was causing uh, the population to decrease? We got rid of it, the population increase. The disease. Yeah, the disease. So we know that, right? We know that uh, the disease was causing the uh, population to decrease. Do we think that that disease might affect other animals? Maybe. Maybe. What did our reading say? What did our reading say about the disease? What types of animals does it affect? You said? Young? Cattle. Yeah, okay, so it, affect, it affected cattle, it affected buffalo. Uh, what is the common trait that rinder pest affects? What common trait do all animals have that rinder pest affects? I think you said a corn? Yeah, poached feet. Rinder pest affects all animals with poached feet. Uh, what's an animal in the Serengeti with hooves that we can look at? You already looked at buffalo. Mm -hmm. Will the beast? Will the beast have hooves? Uh, you can also say, you know, like giraffes, zebras, they also have hooves. Gazelles, gazelles have hooves. Any of these animals we could look at to try to understand what's going on in the Serengeti. That's what we're going to be doing today. So if you flip to the next page to part one procedure, We'll see two population graphs of uh, African buffalo and blue bees. Uh, Triana, could you read out uh, part of the first one? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we're looking at these two graphs and just recording our observations. Uh, so for the next three minutes, next three minutes, work together with your shoulder partner to uh, write down your observations from this graph. Go ahead. <laughs> 